Hello everyone, Andrew here, and welcome back to Donkey Kong Country. In the last part, we did this, and in this part, we're going to be doing this. And as I said, from now on, pretty much-ish, <laughs> uh, worlds are going to have six levels, meaning that the first part of the world will have three, or like, video-wise, and then the last part will have three plus a boss, so hopefully that makes for some good videos content-wise. Uh, but we, before we talk for like a year, Temple Tempest is the next level up, and uh, as described by its name, it is another crazy temple level, which again is a cool theme that I liked. Uh, it wouldn't really come back, I guess, until... Man, I can swear you could bounce on those guys up there. I think there's like a Rambi token or something up there. Um, yeah, temples wouldn't really come back until like Donkey Kong 64. I don't think they really had like a world equivalent. Um in like Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3. Now I actually want this barrel because I believe you need it to unlock a secret wall but I think if I... because of the crazy way that DK holds things I don't think I'm gonna be able to... oh I totally can! It didn't look like it should have been possible but you know... guess it was. Uh, it's so weird having to use like a DK barrel to open up a secret like that. I don't think that was ever required in Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3. I mean I don't think that Donkey Kong Country 3 had walls you had to really break open at all. There was one I think. Uh, that was required for like getting a DK coin, but otherwise, I don't think that you like number two or three ever makes you use a DK barrel to unlock a secret. Usually, it gives you a box or a TNT barrel or something which would be used for that. Also, uh, this game has the weirdest hitboxes. It's just so bizarre. Like, like <laughs> that was totally a hit. Also, it's so weird that they you know they just kind of throw you expresso in this level. Like, uh, I, I I don't know. It's it's such an interesting level. It's it's, it's kind of a shame though. Is we're kind of cheating the whole thing. By, uh, by using Expresso. It's kind of a shame because I feel like in this game animal buddies don't last very long because their hitboxes just are so weird. I mean, obviously there's times when it doesn't seem like, you know, you get hit at all and then there's sometimes where Expresso just makes you so large that it seems like you get hit by everything. Also, uh, you know, <laughs> it doesn't get much more obvious than gigantic arrow pointing downwards. Like some, some of the bonus games in this game, super cryptic. And then some of them it's like, hey, there's an arrow pointing exactly where you're supposed to go. Uh, we saw this in the last part, I believe, where every time you bounce on one of these guys, you get a bunch of bananas, and I believe that the amount of bananas in that bunch increases by one per hit. And, uh, wow, that guy was kind of weird. Um, and then you get a reward that we probably aren't going to need, like, probably an animal token or something like that, so... Oh, and then we got hit. So it doesn't actually hurt you if you get hit. Like, see, that... Ah, uh, I, I... The hitboxes in this game will drive you crazy. I mean, and that's kind of thing. Yeah, one thing you can't do with Expresso is land on top of enemies. So you're pretty much just like a vulnerable, you know, sitting duck or ostrich. Ha! A sitting ostrich. Uh, punny. Uh, or is that even a pun? That's not really a pun. It's it's a it's a play on a on another slang saying, I guess. The point is that animal buddies in this game are weird, uh, and just yeah, overall. It's in you know, you are now living the weird animal buddy experience. So. Yeah, so we, we pretty much lost Expresso and just... Ah! And wow, that's totally not fair at all. It's going to stop directly in my path. Like, I would understand, you know, if... Yeah, but if I go off screen, please tell me, you know, just like everything else in this game, you disappear when someone, when, uh, you know, the character goes slightly off screen. Uh, that's very nice of you. Also, there we go. And I think we found everything in that level. Not very long. Uh, that first secret at the very beginning threw me off for quite a while because your first reaction when you pick up a DK barrel is okay, I'm going to throw it and get the other Kong out like I, uh, anyone naturally would have done when they only, you know, only had DK uh, so they would have wanted to get Diddy out of the barrel but they actually have to use that to open up a wall. Threw me off as a kid. Uh, but with that said, next level up is our actually our final uh, like kind of treetop. Well, not treetop because you have like the treetop town style levels, but this is our last jungle, like world one style level of the game, I believe. And if you go to the left, you have that classic uh, kind of 2D platformer thing from the 90s and 80s where if you press left, there is sometimes a secret hidden. And we can just roll on this all day long and cheat past like the first quarter of the level, which I've always thought was lots of fun. Although we did miss a DK barrel back there, which kind of sucks, so um, I might actually go back for that. Uh, but yeah, this level is all about uh, kind of slopes. I rolled into you. I call shenanigans on that. Uh, we're not going to roll this time. We're not going to, you know, Rick roll everybody. Uh, because, you know, I want I want the DK barrel. And going backwards in this level is more difficult than going forwards. So that's what I wanted. Also, it should be noted that these guys are different than they were. And they look different than they do in Donkey Kong Country 2. And do they come back in Donkey Kong Country 3? I don't think so, maybe. Uh, because they're a lot smaller in this game. Which, again, goes along that whole hitbox thing I was talking about. Where hitboxes are weird. But I think by making them bigger in the second game, it made their hitbox a lot more obvious. So if that was the case, I probably wouldn't have uh, messed up that bonus game. 
in the last level. Not that we really needed a manimal token or whatever it was going to give us. Um, this level you need to be careful. You need to kind of take like an upper and a lower path because you just never know what you're going to find. And it's expressive again. Who again cannot jump on top of enemies? Which is a really kind of massive flaw. It's like, it makes Expresso kind of useless. Like, you kind of just need to, to flutter over top of everything. Also, there are those crazy Kong guys who are supposed to kind of elude, you know, how Donkey Kong is in Mario Arcade, where you're just throwing barrels at us all day long. Uh, I always thought that those were funny guys. But see, we have the end here. And what you actually want to do is you want to go to the right. And you don't actually need Expresso to do that. It is close enough where if you do like a good cartwheel with Diddy, uh, you can make it all of the way. Uh, so you don't actually need Expresso. And we can open up that wall and can we ride Expresso into this door? Yes, we can. Although, do we lose Expresso? Uh, this bonus game has always been one of the weirdest bonus games in kind of the entire game, in my opinion. Maybe even the series, where you just have this like uh, kind of gravity-defying tire. And you bounce on it to uh, to hit the ground, and you get some bananas and a decay barrel. It's, it's just so bizarre. So see, compare that to like a bonus game in Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3 that would take up at least a minute. That one's just like, okay, here's like a 15 second thing where you get some bananas and a decay barrel. Uh, they, they weren't the most inspired bonus games in uh, the original Donkey Kong Country, but they are, they are just funny nonetheless. Also here, uh, I think you can get a good bounce off of one of those guys, although it really helps to have Espresso. So we can get up here and we can use another tire to bounce on some crazy things. So we can get that and that. Although, there is another bonus game around here, I think. Do you have to... Or maybe... Darn it. Might, maybe it was... It might have been you have to bounce on it here. I think that there might be a bonus game there. Like, I, I think... I, I remember there being... There's always been a bonus game in this level that always kind of threw me off. Can I still get up there, maybe? Maybe... Hey, 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 hey. You're not there, and then you're there. Like, that is so shenanigan-worthy. Oh my gosh, that is so garbage. Okay, I think... Okay, this comes back. I can swear you need to bounce on this to get into something. Like, if I push it here, is there a bonus game? No? Man, I guess I'm just... I guess I'm just making things up. I can swear that there was something more up here than just an animal token. You don't come back again, do you? That was dumb. Like, see, I could complain all day about this game's hitboxes, which they thankfully kind of got down and pat in the later Donkey Kong Country games. Also, let me make sure my, uh, my thing's recording here. Thing popped up on the screen. You know, first world, let's playing problems, but I think we're good. I don't think it should uh, cause any frame dropping, hopefully. And the... <laughs> see, I'm, I'm not even going to comment on this anymore. Donkey Kong Country 1 is the most broken game. But yeah, we didn't even find all the bonus games in that level, so I guess we're going to have to go back. But maybe Cranky's... Incredible knowledge will help us through that. A whole mob of Kremlings just passed through. We know Cranky. He handled all of them all on his own. Crazy guy. I'm sorry, four shades of, four shades of gray and a 2x2 two two character block. That's all we had. I can't play this game. The colors are all too rich for my poor eyes. See, I love Cranky's rambling so much. Well, even the bananas have more frames of colors than I had in the entire game. See, like, just breaking the fourth wall like that. Like, I mean, breaking the fourth wall just for the sake of it is not that great, but Cranky does it so well. Like <laughs> waste of frames in my opinion. Yes, Cranky, yes. That was when we had real gameplay. Like, oh my gosh, yes, yes. If you roll attack at that, your speed will increase, and we know that. I can see her in, like, oh my gosh. This this it's kinda sad when you can like relate to Cranky. And it's like, yes! I totally get what you're saying. And it's like if I'm relating to him and I'm like only in my twenties, what am I gonna be like in my sixties? <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not, maybe it's not something we should think of. But anyway, we have a bonus game to find here. I guess swear it had to do with Espresso in that weird little area. Um, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna look. I don't know if everybody actually needs to, to watch the process of locating this bonus game. So, we're gonna do exactly what I said we weren't going to do. And, uh, just roll along. And if I find anything of significant value, we will cut back. Or not. Silly Donkey Kong. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, what was that? What was that all about? I think that was the exit for a bonus game? Or something? Like, I still say that there's something up here somewhere, but I definitely just got shot out of a barrel. I think. Yeah, 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 see that? See, I think that's the barrel, like, you know, when you, uh, when you leave a bonus game in this game, it usually makes it seem as if you're being shot out of a barrel. So I think that's probably the exit barrel from the bonus game. But then where the heck is the entrance? I could swear that you put this into one of these things and then you jumped. 
And then the bonus game was there. But it's just so weird. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll just keep looking like- Is it down like an arbitrary hole somewhere? Do I have to break out open something with this barrel? That could be it. Is there anything that I can't even break open with it? So I don't think... Usually when a ledge has kind of notches like these ones, I don't think you can break open these. Huh. Oh, is there something down there? It's the right. Yes, there is! Yes, there is! Another one of those arbitrary holes we have to fall down. Okay! Okay, we have figured out the secret here. We have figured out the secret. Although I don't want this barrel to break from one of those barrels. Okay, okay. There we go. So that's that was the secret all along. Wow, that is just so bizarre. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. See, Donkey Kong Country 2 would not have done that. Darn it. Darn it, first game problems. Darn it. Darn it. Well, I guess we're beating the level again! See you in a minute. And I'm totally claiming that right now. First game problems. Cranky would totally agree with me. You would think in a game where, you know, there's such complex graphics and so much going on that it could remember when you go off screen for two seconds that there was a door right there. Like, seems kind of silly if you ask me. Uh, but anyway, this bonus game... It's another one of these? Okay... Like, see, they obviously weren't very uh, inspired. And see, that's that barrel I was talking about up there. So is that it? For some reason, I, I feel like maybe there's even another bonus game. But I could just be remembering wrong. And see, that's still not it. I, th I could swear there was one that you had to use Expresso to get to. But the exact location of it is slipping my mind. So I guess we're going back in here again. Definitely the level that's caused us the most trouble so far. I guess this is just kind of around the point of the game where my memory gets fuzzy. I was like, I know the beginning of the game super well, the first couple worlds, but then I guess the bonus games, it's just been so long since I've seeked them all out. Um, but we'll figure it out, and we'll be back in just a sec. <gasps> oh my gosh! That is so bad! That is the worst thing ever! Like, that is just the most... That is just the most, like... It's... it's it, it doesn't even look like there could possibly be a secret down there. And it's just like, hey, you know, why don't you fall down the totally 100% completely arbitrary... Bah humbug! Wait. And that's still not the final bonus game? Because I could swear that in this game, if you found the bonus game, just like in Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3, uh, and you got the coin, or like even the DK coin, and then you exit the level, it still remembers it. So I should totally have an exclamation mark, unless there's a fourth bonus game. I... <laughs> this level, for some reason this is just totally feels alien to me. I, I don't know why I don't remember this. Uh, but I guess we're going in again. Uh, here we go. No, you don't come back. If, if nothing else comes back when they die, you shouldn't come back either. Alright, this better be it. This better be it. Oh my gosh! That makes three bonus games in this level that you need to break open walls for. Wait, no, all four you need to break open walls. Anyway, this is the one I was remembering. I guess you didn't need Expresso to get to it, but you, for some reason, get Expresso inside of it. Oh my gosh! That one barrel needs to be used to open three different bonus games, and that makes it for a total of... More than four? Because that's literally four bonus games. There's the one that you uh, get right after the end, and then there's three bonus games with that within that last little stretch. And I did start select after getting one of them, but I could swear that you could do that. I don't think you have to get all the like get a bonus game and then beat a level in order for it to count. There better not be a fifth one. There better not be a fifth bonus game in there. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in and beat it and get the bonus games and then beat it to make sure that the exp you know, exclamation marks click or that it's been recorded. Wow! Wow! This isn't... Hopefully, I mean, I can edit most of this out, so it's probably not gonna be looking like too long for you guys, but I've been doing a few runs for this level, and oh my gosh. This level is silly. It's just blowing my mind. Like, I don't remember a level that had four or more bonus games. That's just craziness. Uh, so yeah, once again, we'll be back.
five bonus games. The first level has five bonus games. And it spells my least favorite freaking, uh, whatever it is, Animal Buddy 2. Oh my gosh. That's just such a big jump. It's like, it goes from having like, yeah, three of the max to five? Suddenly five? Oh. And we're not even just spelling one Animal Buddy. This is like a super bonus game. We probably get like a blue balloon for this one. Yeah, this is just completely slipped my mind. I knew that there was a bonus game that you had to use, uh, oh wow, that you had to use... What does it even say? Oh, it's to say, uh, On Guard. That you had to use, um, Expresso to get to, but wow, that's just... I, I it's just, this, this whole level... I mean, I, I obviously remember the concept that you're having the, to dodge the barrels, but all those bonus games, I totally forgot about those. On Guard, and that should leave, uh, no, not Rambi. Expresso, my other favorite animal buddy who would never come back again. Um, E, S, S. Oh, and now I know my XSOs. That's that. And for all that, I just get tokens. I don't even get, like, an actual life. Ugh. Now that's it. Five bonus rooms. Five. Count them. Wow, that really shoots you far ahead in the level. <laughs> uh, because, yeah, I'll keep it in. That, that, that bonus game was actually located directly beneath the beginning point. Which, that, that's really cool. But, wow, look at that. Five bonus games. Oh, my gosh. Just for that. Just for that. I don't know. That, 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 that's insane. That's absolutely insane. I, I'm actually really... I think that's really cool. Donkey Kong Country, like, bonus games, like, it's funny because, what was it, two or three of them are just, like, a single room with a floating tire? It's like, it's almost like they didn't even really need those bonus games. I don't know. I guess they just figured, oh no, we're stuck at 98%, so throw in two random bonus games somewhere. Ah! Clam City! Clam City is the next level on our list, and it's an underwater level, which, guess what? means that there are no bonus games to find, uh, which is somewhat relieving uh, after, you know, I think I think we have found enough bonus games in this part. But one thing that really freaked me out as a kid uh, was when I pressed left on this wall and I was like, oh my gosh, that is the coolest secret ever. Not required for our, you know, completion percentage, but, uh, you know, any secret walls that have on guard hidden in them are okay with me. These clam guys, I don't think that you can kill them even when they're open. They bring back memories of, like, the guys from Donkey Kong Country 3, who have the shells and they kind of open and close, but I don't think that you can kill these guys even when they're open. We're just gonna kind of, uh, go by these guys as fast as we can. Is there something over here? Is this the right way? Or is this the... Was this just a DK barrel? Yes, it was. Okay. For some reason, I thought we were supposed to go to the right. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I love finding bonus games, although I have to admit that after that level with five bonus games in it, uh, there's somewhat, there's something a little bit relieving about not having to worry about it in this level and just kind of sailing through with On Guard. Uh, because, yeah, that, that, it, it took me a while to kind of run through and get them all just because for some reason my brain just did not remember half of those bonus games. Uh, I mean, I knew that there was one somewhere where you had to use On Guard to get it, but I didn't remember it being uh, underneath the beginning like that. That's actually really cool. So we missed the O somewhere, potentially inside a wall that was, uh, you know, that looks solid. Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, as I've mentioned, like their, their walls that look solid but actually aren't, especially in their underwater levels. But there we go. Oh, that level, like I said, uh, kind of a sigh of relief because we get the exclamation mark with, like, little, you know, as little effort as possible. But here we get Bumblebee Rumble, the boss of World 3. And this boss is a gigantic zinger, much like the one that you fight at the end of... What's it called? Of uh, the World 4 in Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh, I never really pointed out, but zingers in this game come in a lot of really weird colors. There's like some green ones, and of course you have the typical yellow ones, and there's like some brown ones. Uh, they, they don't, the different colors don't really mean anything though. I don't believe that any zingers inside of levels are invincible. I think that no matter what color they are, they can be killed by anything. Unlike right here, where red means that you cannot hurt it. And just like in Donkey Kong Country 2, where yellow zingers are, you know, able to be destroyed by barrels and stuff, but, uh, red ones aren't. Uh, and then that was kind of carried on into Donkey Kong Country 3, where you could destroy the green ones by using barrels and all that, but then red ones were invulnerable to attacks. Unless you had the invincibility barrel, I believe. Uh, otherwise. But yeah, this game doesn't follow that, where, like, all the different colors inside of the levels, uh, they can all be killed by, uh, pretty much anything. Uh, except Expresso, because Expresso is useless. But with that said, that is, after a very exciting uh, fifth level, 
Vine Valley. Next up is Gorilla Glacier. We have a ship on the left side of the screen there, which you may have noticed is slowly inching closer to DK Isle. Uh, so who knows what will happen with that. But yeah, World 3 down. Uh, things are definitely getting a little bit more exciting, a little bit more complex. And Gorilla Glacier is probably my most kind of troublesome world as a kid. Even more so than the, the fifth and sixth worlds. Just ice is not good. Plus, th th these levels are pretty, uh, pretty crazy. You'll see but in the next part. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time when hopefully we don't have so many trouble, so much trouble finding bonus games, but we probably will. Because as I said, the second half of the game, uh, it's been a while. So things are going to be a little fuzzy, but hopefully we'll get by. So thanks and see you then.